Hi, Elise Dewsbury here, trying once again to put myself out of a job. Um, over the last few months, I've been talking a lot about theme, um, lead character, journey or arc, um, structure, framing devices versus linear storytelling, act, you know, one or two acts, all of that sort of thing. Uh, what I want to talk about today is what happens when you want to write a show based on the life of a real person. Uh, and tell the story of someone who really existed, who is uh, either, you know, currently alive or was alive in the past, and you think that they've done some amazing things in their life that you would like to turn into a musical. So let me just say that the, the warning I give you is that um, everyone has the same plot in their story. If you're writing a biography, it's the same plot for everybody who's ever lived. It's they were born, they did this, that, and the other, and they died. Everybody's plot is exactly the same. And in my, uh, in my opinion, that doesn't make for a really exciting or theatrical idea for a musical. It makes for a documentary. It might make for a film or a novel, but for a musical, I think it's pretty tricky. So if you really feel you have found a, a living or historical person whose life story you want to tell, I would encourage you to think along the, uh, all the things that I've been talking about with theme and journey of your character. Try to think, what is it that draws you to this character? What is the main thing that they did? And can you find, can you focus in on a particular event in that person's life or a particular time period in that person's life where the, the thing that really makes them exciting uh, came to fruition. Uh, what made it possible? What, uh, what made the breakthrough? Um, what was it that turned them into that person that made you want to write a musical about them? Can you tell that story? Can you focus it? Never mind, you know, that, you know, trying to show us pictures of them as a baby with their parents fighting and that's why they turned into the person that they turned into. A movie can do that. A documentary can do that. And it's not that a musical can't, but I would really encourage you to concentrate on a particular period. You, you have to think about logistical things. Uh, for example, if you're going to portray your character over a number of years, is that going to mean you're going to hire a different actor or actress to play that role? Uh, do you need um, the baby version of this person, the 10-year-old version, the 20-year-old version, the 80-year-old version? How many different actors are you going to need to play this character? Again, it's not, uh, it's not against the law to hire multiple characters, uh, multiple actors to play a character over time, but you need to think logistically if that's what you want to do. If you need to have, uh, if you need to hire an actor to play the 10 year old version of your character just because there's a particularly pivotal moment that you think happened to them when they were 10, but everything else about their story happens, you know, when they're 25 or 30, I would encourage you to think about is there some other way that you could get that information about what happened to them when they were 10 into your story? rather than showing me a scene from when they were 10. Again, there's no, it's not like you're breaking the law if you choose to have multiple actors playing, uh, playing the role and if you choose to tell it from the moment of birth to the moment of death. But I think you're going to have a much more theatrically interesting and exciting musical if you focus in on a particular moment in their life, uh, a moment when they're making a big decision a moment when they're doing um, a particularly important experiment and the results of it are really important, where something is at stake so that we can actually, in an encapsulated form, go on that journey with your character that led them from what they wanted to do with their lives to what they were actually able to accomplish or, you know, what was, you know, what was the, what was the, the most important moment, a decision-making moment. See if you can really activate that moment and therefore focus in. One of the trickiest things about that is that that might bring you to a certain point in your character's life and then you really, really, really want your audience to know all the things that happened afterwards because of that. Uh, not just later in that character's life, but after they died. For instance, if you're telling the story of a, a, a historical figure, you might think, well, I can tell the story um, and I can stop when they when they die. I can stop when they uh, when they do something really important. But then, how am I going to show the audience all the amazing things that have happened since then? And so sometimes the um, the inclination is to write a kind of a um, an epilogue in which or to create a framing device so that we can um, we can understand that person's impact on the world at large. Um, again, it's something that's not that hard to do in a movie and can certainly work in a novel. But once again, I would encourage you to just present this person and not worry about 
uh, about trying to make your own statement about what history has said about this person. You can do it, I'm not saying you can't, but trust that the part of the story you're telling is the really interesting part. And uh, there are other ways that people can find the other information they need to know about the character. I, uh, you know, doing it or reading program notes or something like that. Um, but I would encourage you to find an active, important, decision-making, uh, life-or-death moment in the life of your character and focus on that and how it, um, how it illuminates your theme and how it shows your character going on the journey you want them to go on. So that's what I would recommend if you are trying to make a musical biography. Uh, and, and I hope that you'll follow that advice, and we'll see you the next time around. Bye-bye.